All right. Today, the project will be we are going to strip the paint out of that head. So we are the head cover. So what we are going to do is I have paint stripper and we're going to set some in there wear some gloves and scrub it until we get to the metal so let's see how it goes so let's start by taking every single rubber piece I guess you can see them and move the camera a little bit so I'm gonna get a small screwdriver and just proper a little prop a little bit up so I can I can get it I don't want to damage this because this will be my it's uh, like the engine mount it gives a little cushion when the screws go there but on the other hand we need them out There you go. Two. Uh, there's another one inside here. Three. Another one inside here. Four. So I'm gonna put those ones inside. So it was like this. Bang, bang. I don't think that matters though. They all look the same. And this. This. And the last one, there's one missing that I might need to take from my other engine. So I guess here, um, I, I, it's a break. Yeah, paint stripper. I'm going to keep this here. I don't want that inside this hole. It's just a little, although it wouldn't matter. But, you know. You never know. That doesn't go all the way through anyway. Um, all right. You guys ready? Let's take it outside. All right. So we have the cover here. We have this paint stripper, duply color. So what we're going to do is like we're going to shake a little bit. This is going to remove the paint. So I want to be careful. not go too much outside in the house because it's going to strip the paint on the wall and all that stuff yeah you can see the paint tumbling up already Good, it doesn't.
All right, I let it sit for a while and let's repeat the process. So apparently there were two layers and the second layer is very well done because Many hours now, the probably three or four hours I've been doing this. Look at that. And all the sides. I also did a little polishing on the, on the here. This one actually polishes. So if you do like this, it, it gets like shiny. Yeah, look. So I'm gonna do this here. It's very shiny. Just take some of the grease of the rest of it. And take some of this here. And call it good. Now let's paint. All right, I've been doing this for six hours. <laughs> Looks pretty amazing. I didn't clean those yet because I'm not sure if I can get a set of those. Uh, maybe a blue one, not sure. And so the engine will be this color. This color here. So I'm about to paint. This guy here, make light this color. It'll be amazing. So finally, let's mask tape some areas like 
these here. Where are we? Here. Oh man, here. This here. Um, this other part here. I don't want any paint inside those holes. So let's figure that out. Okay, and to be sure that the paint won't get inside this cover, um, I cut this little piece of cardboard and I kind of fit here. It works kind of all right. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put some tape in here so it gets kind of a little bit thicker and will stay in place better. Because I kind of don't have anywhere to hold it, to support it, right? So, um, all right, so let's see what happens. Because I'm going to paint the whole top of it, um, I cannot put a tape that goes over here because I expect that to be painted. So let's see. <clears throat> Just put a couple uh, layers of tape. I am not sure if it's going to work. Oh, it works fine. There you go. All right. So now, yeah, see, that's all right. I'm gonna make this a little, um, it's like, just put a little space in here. If I make it thicker, it's gonna stay there better. All right. And, I'm gonna do the other side too. This side was pretty good, so. All right. So let's 
let's do it again. And here, here. All right. It works fine. You see there's a little gap in there. see if I can fix like this there you go there you go Got it because it will be from the top to bottom. I don't need to worry about this too much, but I'll put a little piece of tape here too. Just to finish, Okay, everything is masked now. This is what we are going to do. I'm gonna change a little bit from the other one. Um, I'm gonna use this here, uh, which is high heat, 2000 Fahrenheit, 2000 degrees. And then I'm going to follow the same procedure, putting this coating, uh, the base coat, and then going to the blue. And Finally, we are going to use a clear coat. I'm gonna show you in a minute, and the result will be like this. This is clear coated. I just need to sand it and polish. Um, so this here should look like this in a few minutes from now. So this is the base, the clear coat. Where are you, clear coat? This is the clear coat. And this is my son's car, right? And it's also high heat. This is what I used before. Um, I got this from um, Chris Fix. He's a, he's a guy, he has a YouTube channel. It's very, very cool. He has a bunch of cool stuff. But I'm not, I, I, I work six hours to make this engine look like this. And I really don't want to risk um, have that peeling off and need to take the head out of the car again and all that stuff. So let's cut it and start working. All right, so first we're going to use this here. And we're going to apply three, two light coats and one medium black coat. Just so you know, I'm pooping my pants.
looks like. So it's pretty good. That little part. I just want that to touch where I want the paint to go. That looks great. I should cover that part like I did there. So I think, uh, yeah, nothing bad so far, but I'll cover that. Okay, so now we're going to apply this base coat and we gotta wear some sort of uh, respirator protector. So, all right, I guess you can see. so pretty I want to keep doing it it's a, you can see the the metal flakes look they're flying like little particles this is insane and pretty uh, so you can see I mean I couldn't leave the head like this well let's wait for the code to Okay, that's the last coat. So far, so good. I have a flashlight. You guys, you can see a little better. Wow. So I can just see what's going on. Not gonna try my luck too much. It looks pretty like that. And we are done with those coats. Um, so this is how it looks like. Of course, it gotta dry. But you can see it's no zoom, no nothing. See if you can see there. It's very shiny, very pretty. Yeah, um, look. I think during the day it would be much prettier. Look, you can. You can basically see there. You can see this part here. So it's a. Uh, it has a reflection like almost like mirror anyway uh, next coat will be this blue here and but we gotta wait uh, 20 minutes so in 20 minutes I'll be back okay so now is the actual color coat which will be this one so this is basically where the magic happens 
let me put my mask on. Uh, so that's it. I look like this right now. Uh, I think you you have the uh, a good idea of uh, how it is. I don't see any dripping, which makes me very happy. Um, and you can see you can see the reflection uh, in here. I'm afraid to put my finger down here, down there. So. Wow, that's crazy. I can hear the uh, coyotes. Look. Oh, wow. Can you guys hear that? that noise to tell the other ones that's freaking crazy anyway all right so let's see when it dries and then we're gonna apply a clear coat and we're good to go so let's try to remove before it dries all the way let's try to remove um, this here so I cannot touch the engine um, but I can uh, use this and so slowly
All right. So that's it. Now I'm going to put clear coat. I'm actually going to send this real quick, uh, but not tonight. It's uh, probably 1.30 a.m. and i quite tired. Uh, so yeah, I think this is a is a pretty good upgrade from that to that. So this will match and all that stuff. So. And that's it. I am tired today, but I'm very happy. Look at that. All right, guys. I hope you enjoy. Um, subscribe to my channel if you like it. And thanks for all the support. Later.